What is up, everybody? My name is Huts, and today we are playing Despot's game. Before we begin, let me just announce that they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a sponsored episode in this game, and I said yes, absolutely. Developed by Confa Games, published by Tiny Build. Despot's game is a roguelike tactical auto battler set in a strange post-apocalyptic labyrinth where players build their army of puny humans into shamans, cultists, and dozens of other heroes. A roguelike auto battler, what does that even look like? It combines turn-based roguelike aspects with an epic battle simulator. Despot's game allows players to create customizable teams of tiny little humans ready for a showdown. Equip each battler with ridiculous weapons, including stale pretzels, damage-soaking refrigerators, and famous pop culture costumes to defeat evil aliens, men-eating cabbage monsters, and many other weirdos in this wacko pixel art strategy simulator. It looks like an absolutely wild ride, and I can't wait to show it off to you guys. Don't forget to follow the link in the description to be taken directly to the Steam page where you can get it right now. It will be available Steam Early Access on PC October 14th. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. It looks like there are many game modes available to us, but we're going to start off playing normal. Normal classic. What else do they have? Cannon fodder, sports people, medieval, cosplay, special magic, cooking show, ultra violence. Let's do it. Let's jump right in. Finally, after many a failed attempt, we've managed to summon you. So now there is a chance at least. You are the chosen one. Only you can save this doomed world. Well, gets me every time. In truth, you're just one more puny human about to perish in my dungeon's tunnel. If you make it through to the very end, there's a surprise waiting for you. I doubt you will, but still. Time for you to proceed to the next room. All right, let's buzz through this tutorial quick. Map, upper left. Tokens, money. A number of humans, I've got four. 40 food. This bar down here tells us uh, status effects for when they get hungry. Mutations, looks like there's like a skill tree and the cost is underneath each one. We currently have this ability, 50% chance to loot an item back from a dead human. First level is restocking the shop is one token cheaper. All units receive plus 32 mana and the newbies class receives plus 15 to armor. So if you remember me playing Snake Remix at all, you'll know this idea of this class system. We have one newbie, has no abilities, one tank, one fencer, and one shooter. You'll see it says one out of three underneath the tanks. To activate this ability, you need two more more humans of this class with different items. Humans receive the taunt ability. Three, four, five humans with different items required for new ability levels. So it seems like the first one is the taunt ability so that they guarantee attack the tank. Keep everybody else alive. Okay. The other ones have stuff too. We'll not worry about that right now. We're just going to jump in. Stats on the bottom of the screen. Lower right. Pause. Speed up. Auto place. And fight. Let's go to the left. Hooray, you fight to prepare for it. Pick a good placement for your puny humans. Fight happens automatically. That's why it's called an auto battler. We just basically place where we want these people and it'll take care of the rest. There's one enemy spawning right here. So we can see we're losing a little bit of health here on this guy. 76 health. I can't move him. I can't do anything with him. But we did get a little bit of money from that. You don't want to meet a boring death in the very first room and would rather try a more ingenious one deeper down. You'll need weapons. The shop is in front of you. Choose for the charmed ring, first aid kit, spirit mask, or another human. Glasses are above. Mage healer cultist we can re-roll for two and upgrade for four i don't exactly know what all that means i think maybe the r stands for rarity let's buy a healing kit maybe another tiny human and give it to one of these dudes all right now we have a healer buy more items and a couple of new humans too there's no reason to hold on to your tokens kind of want to see what this spirit mask does go every three cultists summon a level one two three tentacle huh, okay our tank is really hurting. Let's put our healer like right next to the tank. Well, what happens if I just say auto place? Interesting. That makes sense to me, minus the fact that I really want to heal my tank. Onwards. One enemy again. Another Dalek. It's red this time. Dead. Blue Dalek. Still firing on my non-tank. A perk. Perforating shots. Shooters use perforating shots that deal damage to all enemies behind the primary target. We can also sacrifice a human to receive five food if we're desperate, but I don't believe we are. All right, let's do that auto placement that they did before. Our healer didn't exactly heal too much there. You gotta use your ability, dude. My healer's name is Buttercup. Is that the issue? All right, go. I have a bad feeling yeah, about our tank. Our tank's dead. I did see a little bit of a heal there. Okay, okay. 10 health left on our fighter, though. Not impressive. Sorry. Fencer, not fighter. We have a fighter, a trickster, and another cultist available. What if we went just pure cultist? 
would probably be pretty stupid. It's the tutorial. Let's have fun. Another tank? Probably. Boss room next. Let's go. That's a big dude. Let's get it. We're doing great. We're doing great. I wish I could see all the health bars. There we go. Okay, wait a second. Who did you just stomp out? My fighter. Oh, he's crispy. Let's get to the settings here for a second. Always show HP bars. Always. It's Twitch integration. Interesting. There we go. Now it's going to be so much easier to see what's going on. The Wheel of Misfortune. The humans come across a holographic smiling skeleton with most of its neon skin peeling off. It stands next to a wheel that looks like a giant dartboard. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Hologram is quite glitchy. Move along. Luck doesn't like being tested. Spin the wheel. You roll panic. Allow me to remind you the question. What is the meaning of life? Ooh. I don't, I only have one option. Correctamundo, you won the panic mutation. Now your newbies will run from enemies in fear while taunting them. Ah, 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 ah. The hologram turns into a cube of black and white pixels. Your newbies seem feebler than before, but that could be useful. When approached by an enemy, newbies experience fear and flee, making enemies attack them. That's kind of nice though, that they'll run away and not just die, right? That's what they were saying. It could be, could be nice. A third cultist. Hello, a cart full of secrets. Excuse me? No, we need that cultist. No, oh, that was the same item though, and it doesn't count. Was not paying attention. Once again, our two healers also, they both have the first aid kit, so that doesn't count as getting the uh, one of two. It's not two of two. I, I kind of forgot about that a little bit. Yeah, we bunged it up. We have no fighters and our tank is, is not doing well. Wish me luck. Oh, we're down to six food, too. I think uh, each person eats one piece of food. Ooh, and there's a big guy here. Um, I don't know about that. Go. Good luck, everybody. Spinning Blades of Doom, our tank is dead. Our tank is super crispy. Now our cultists are being targeted. Okay. Good damage on the cultists, though. Mutations. Deja vu allows you to go back in time once. Ooh, a time when all of your puny humans were still alive. I don't know what that really means. Does that mean it's, it revives some of my dead crispy boys? Shooting tentacles. Summon tentacles have a ranged attack. Yeah, I would love to have tentacles, but remember, we messed it up. Valor, if there are more opponents than humans, each human gets plus 10 armor per each extra opponent. Probably not going to happen. We have two free refill, re-rolls, I mean. Maybe use that. Heal allies from a distance. Yes. Fast reload. All ability cooldowns are 1.11 times lower. Or the shooting tentacles. We'll go with the healer thing. We're going to need it, I think. We have no frontliners. Our healers are our frontliners. I just don't know about that. We're probably going to need some food, so let's go to the food store. Hey, your humans are hungry. Okay, how do I... Fuel is fuel, meat is meat. Is that right? Now off you go. Armor, 30% lower. Damage, 30% lower because they're hungry. Yikes. Go. Spinning wheels of doom. We really need a tank. Ah! Horrible. 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 Awful. I hated every minute of that. We got food though. I don't think we're going to survive the next one. We just have three cultists. Oh yeah, right. That'll be fun. How about you guys go back there? Yep, it's over. Holy clutch! Cultist, good! New human. Give him sword. Oh, hey, we got stuff back. That's right, we had a 50% chance of getting the stuff back. And we just, we're gonna load him up. Look at that, that's way better. What's that? Thrower. Bomb ability. I'm gonna go another sword and another tank. Oh my gosh, we're back in this thing! We don't have any healers, though. Oh my goodness, that's so many things. Good thing we have those tanks, though. All right, only got one crispy boy there. Take a first aid kit for a healer and give that sword that we got back. We got a backtrack that's gonna take up so much food. Fight her down, fight her back up. We'll try this nano lance. Go for the food thing. There's a teleporter room. Hold tab and select another teleporter room to move there. Oh, that's what that means. I gotcha. Move on into this room. See what the exclamation point is before the boss. The hole. Uh oh. Excuse me, what? Bring me five pink. Wants a sacrifice of five newbies. Let's go looking. Let's throw a couple of tokens in there for good luck. Tokens? Stop throwing these thingies at me. 25 tokens are spit back at you from the pit. More than you threw in there. Hey, that works for me. Boss fight. Tank down. Fighter down. Take him out. I win. It's a fork in the road. A giant stone lies at the intersection. It, it seems like something happens at the beginning of every floor. 
like a random event. It says, he who goes right will lose his sword. He who goes left will lose his head. He who goes ahead will face recursion. Oh, right. Pawn shop. Never mind how it got there. A mechanical owner is willing to buy just a sword for six tokens. Okay, so my sword guy lost his thing, but I think that was more money than we spent on it. Yeah, it cost three. Time for you to learn class combos. See that Hark Bus? You don't have one like that. Buy it. Now give the Hark Bus to a, an itemless human. Go, go, go. That guy's pretty injured already. Let's get another one and give the Hark Bus to him. There's now a blue dot next to the shooter class icon. It indicates that you've granted them a class ability level. Attack, speed, aura, ability. The numbers two out of three indicate that you have two different humans in the shooter class and that you need three humans with a different item to unlock the next ability level. Yeah, so it's right down here. Attack speed aura level one plus 15% attack speed to all allies. Uh huh. Uh huh. We have our tank thing still. Let's give that to you. Get a new guy and give him a sword. Let's get this crash cart. Give that to the injured guy. Maybe the healers can help themselves. That gives us. Level 2 heal. Heals 25 instead of 15 to the closest wounded ally. I upgraded my shop and now it has an extra item there. Yoga pants. I gotta see what it does. <laughs> That's what yoga people look like. Sure. Oh, consumable McGregor. 620 health. That's a lot. Must be heat yoga. Let's get one of these little guys in there. Just in case somebody dies, they drop one of their weapons. I can give it right to him or her. It, there, you know, whatever. Next. We have so many people on our team. We're eating all the food and now we're hungry. Okay, they just took out my tank. I wonder if they have like special magic attacks that deal more damage. Oh, third cultist! I don't have enough money! Oh no! I don't have the 18. I got I just ate I buy ah I bought all my food. You're now a tank, by the way. We do need a second lancer. Trickster, I mean. What's your ability for that? Stale pretzel? I'm just I'm bummed. I'm bummed about the candle skull. Maybe we should save money right now since we're doing well. Keep it up, guys. Oh, tanks gonna go down again. I mean it's it's functioning appropriately, I guess. Mutation. Once per fight, tanks can rise from the dead with 20% health if they have 120 mana. Resurrection. I think we need that. Would have been nice right before this. Too bad we can't reactivate shops. We're gonna lose one of our fighters. Nope, we didn't. Not yet. Keep it up, guys. Nah, we lost two of them. Yoga Pants is just carrying. Yoga Pants. Easy, easy yoga. Can't afford to lose you. 19 for a hidden leaf shuriken. 17 for a grav gun. Candle skull, I can afford it. We can now make tentacles. Ooh, more yoga pants. Yeah, they're basically the tank here. Despot was here fighting Despot's name. Oh gosh, the mages do so much damage to my tanks. Ooh, did you see the tentacle that was about to uh, arise? Oh, another healer. A paddle ball for 12 for tricksters. It'd be nice, but I'm gonna go healer here. We have level three healing, 40 to the closest wounded ally. Great, great, great. Just in time for the boss. That's a lot of stuff going on. Tentacles, we need ya! Oh, that's awesome. Our units are dying though. Tentacles, you need to get in there. Okay, tentacles were great. Our tank died and did not respawn. What am I paying you for? Once per fight, tanks can rise from the dead. Does that mean 100% chance that they do that? Down we go. Humans find an ancient artifact, a computer in the form of a flat rectangle, approximately 8.99 inches large. The tablet only has one app installed that reads TikTok 2022 archive. Break the devil's tool apart. Nine tokens is better than nothing. <laughs> That was the only reasonable thing to do, I think. Let's get two tanks. Two big guys. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, we're all on fire. I wonder if they get a bonus because they have two of them. I don't remember being on fire last time. Our healers are doing a great job, though. From a distance, too. They're they're nailing it. Three big guys? Come on. Hold steady, tanks. Tank dead. Aren't you supposed to respawn, tank? That's okay. Yoga pants will just take all the damage. Get these two fighters here, and we'll get a boost there called critical hit. Or fencers, rather. Level one critical hit. Attacks deal 1.4 times damage. Chance 20%. More fire dudes. We need to find some way to get our tentacles in there faster. There we go. I teleported to the next teleport room, and I think I saved in a bunch of food. All right, this is what's up. Cultists, I want you like closer to the front. Maybe even like more than that. There we go. Because they're not going to move much when they summon the tentacles. Yep, then the tentacle gets right in there. God, these guys are tough. Still lost a bunch of people. 
Lost a fighter and a tank. Here, next level tank. There we go. I need three tanks in order to get the taunt ability, though. Chainsaw for a fighter. I'm gonna go risky here, upgrade my shop, and refill our tank and our fighter. Three big guys. Are they laser shooters? No. Oh, goodness. Bro, what was that? He just plowed me. Is everyone okay? Oh my god. He went right for the cultists. They're doing great though. They have like way too much health. Like why would a cultist who doesn't move forward need to have 421 health? I Summon tentacles have a ranged attack. Maybe we want to try that and see what happens. I hate these guys. Yeah, okay, the tentacles now no longer getting in there. Maybe that's a bad thing because at least the tentacles were up in front and I, and, and maybe potentially, I think they were taking some, some heat. Refrigerator tank, gotta have it. Cultist, you can move back a little bit now that you are uh, summoning tentacles that shoot and we'll get the third tank there we go holding a periodic table get it three tanks in front feeling good about that boss fight oh that's the biggest circle i've ever seen oh boy oh man he just socked me right to the back and then again he is spraying the damage out over a number of people so that that's actually working out quite well we're not really dying because he like i said he's not hitting the same people twice three tanks so they just activated a, a taunt ability oh gosh you were you're so low and now ah, you died Vanquisher of Robots achievement unlocked. I don't think this was a tutorial, you guys. I think this is just, we're just playing. You're gonna tell me though I lost two of my tanks? Oh, shoot. I feel like I need more money for the boss fight. Do we still have our Hark bus guy? Is that this? Yes, Hark bus. What's that? Elden Charmed Ring. Tuna! That's a thrower. That's way too expensive for me. Get a second table guy. About to get really tough, I think. Doc Ox. Table guy's already dead. These guys are crazy. What am I supposed to do with this? All my tanks are gonna die. He just killed one of my healers who was way up in front. I don't know why. He just killed my second healer. I don't think I'm supposed to make it past this level. My God, everyone's dead. Yep, all my healers gone. Look at all the stuff that we got back to these guys. This doesn't bode well. New healer. Why were they up in front? I have heal from a distance. What, what were they doing? Nobody die again. Fighter dead. Tank dead. My healer is always oh, up there bashing him with his cart. Probably ran out of mana. I don't know what to say. I think it's over. Ah, Doc Ox again. Yoga pants, no! Healer dead. Ranged unit dead. They're one-shotting everybody. I mean, what, what, what do you want me to do? Huh? Cultists are going down with 420 health. You're getting two shot. Yep. Cool. Defeat, sad face. But look, you've unlocked some cool new stuff. Everyone just died. They got slaughtered. Gotta pay me off with shiny things. Super punch, though. All right. It's been our first look at Despot's game, you guys. Thank you so much to Confa Games and Tiny Build for sponsoring this episode. I really want to know what you guys think about this. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to check out the Steam link down below. That will take you right to the page where it is available early access right now. I liked it. I like the idea of synergies. I think that makes roguelikes and games that just rely on the randomness. It really, really adds to it. It gives you something to build for. So that aspect was great. The auto battler was, you know, it, it's frustrating, of course, at times, but it's my first time playing it. So that I bet you there's a way that you could probably take uh, advantage of aggro, maybe a spot to put the healers, the cultists that would be like way better. Maybe we should have put the cultists in front so that the tentacle got there first. Tons of things that we could have done differently. I really wish that maybe they would tell you like if their range unit was going to come up or if it was going to be a melee unit that you were going to be fighting against. But maybe at some point in time, you'd be able to recognize like where the circles are and what units are going to be spawning. So a lot of it just falls on me for obviously not being experienced. But for what we did see, I really liked it. Once again, I want to know your thoughts on it. So leave that down in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next episode. See you guys.